Uh, very welcome, uh, Dr. Bashar, and for sure all of us will enjoy your excellent presentation. And uh, all of uh, it's important that uh, during his presentation, he will deliver in all of the lectures very practical points regarding Thank rhinoplasty. Thank you very it's much. Totally different from the others. Very Thank welcome. You. Thank you very much, Professor Ali, for your uh, nice introduction and for your also invitation for this conference. Actually. Uh, uh, as we just, my previous, the previous speaker was emphasizing that rhinoplasty is based on maneuver really more than approaches. It's not no matter how, how you go in, no, it's really matter what you do when you are in. And we all started doing open approach, then delivery approach, then change the approach, our approaches according to the requirement of our patient and according to what was our patient really, really need. So this morning, I'm going to talk about the key maneuvers part one and the afternoon, the key maneuvers part, part two. So starting with the, with the uh, uh, open approach, for example, you see how I actually do the open approach in, in very straightforward, a quick, a quick way. It doesn't take me a long time to open all the structure of the alar cartilage in less than three minutes, if you follow this way of, of approach. So I'm just showing this video, it's, I'm not trying to show, I mean, we are, we, we are, we are champion, just, just to show it to, for, for teaching purposes, and to teach you how, how, how to get to the right planes and the right structure in an accurate, accurate manner. So always the, the, the uh, uh, I mean, uh, marking the tip defining bone, uh, point is very important because marking the tip defining bone will, will lead to a symmetry of the tip and then later symmetry of the nostril for, for, uh, then. So I, I already marked the tip defining point on the tip, on the junction of the intermediate to the tracora, and then the, at the cartilage, and as you see, I usually use this fully curved blunt scissor, a very useful scissor. Even I use this scissor in, 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 in face lifting also, and in most of my surgery. And after I have done so, I just straight away now uh, make my cut, and all the structure of the of the nose will be will be seen now open, as you will see in, in, in a few seconds. So that's really very quick and very straightforward way to uh, do your open approach. I'm just now showing the uh, approaches quickly, but I'm, but I'm going to concentrate mainly on the maneuvers. Because I mean, again, what important how, how you get in? Uh, what important what you do when 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 you are you are in? So this is our how now you can expose all the structure of the nose in 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 few minutes. Again, an elevated approach almost the same. Okay, again, so the same principle uh, is uh, determining the tip defining point on the tip first, on the skin, then on the junction of the intermediate to the tracheas, and then on the cartilage, and then exposing both of the, of the uh, lateral cross, delivering the lateral cross, and again, determining the tip defining bone. Determination of the tip defining bone, as I said, will lead to a tip symmetry and symmetry of the nost nostrils. If you don't get tip symmetry, you will not get a symmetry of the nostrils later. And as you see now, and most of our surgery we do under, under local with, uh, with, with deep sedation. So both now the uh, airline are delivered in, in very short time. This is the actual time of the, of the, of the, of the, of the delivery. Now, oblique dome division, this is the, I mean, this technique I actually, uh, uh, I mean, established in 1999 following, following I've been doing the, I was doing the open approach and liver approach, approach for 10 years, since 1990 to, 19 to 2000, years. And then there was a lot of problem arising from the open approach from the wide exposure of the iliac cartilage, especially in this part, working in the, this part of the world with patients with thicker skin and patients with softer cartilage. So this technique mainly will preserve the lateral cross, no marginal incision, no exposure of the lateral cross, and no delivery of the lateral cross. In my opinion, even if other, this technique will, 
will, will uh, reduce the healing process on the ALI side wall and in turn will reduce the possibility of not notching uh, ALI retraction, uh, benching, and ALI collapse, and even deviation when you have wound contraction in one side to other side. So this technique works mainly in the midline. We did by the uh, intermediate cora and the upper portion of the mediate cora. And then we start to do our unblast maneuver, exactly the same as if you are working in, 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 in an open approach or, or, or delivery approach. So now both intermediate cura and our portion of the mediate cura will deliver to one side, and then we start doing our maneuvers. So uh, one of the main maneuvers is of either obtaining a central graft or obtaining a concave graft. We obtain a concave graft only in cases of revision and blast. Unfortunately, 70% of our cases are, are, are revision anoblast. And most patients who come for revision anoblast already had already had open approach. But what means by an open approach means by nothing. You see, the surgeon has done the open approach and only done some interdomal suctions. That's what we find in most patients. Open approach with only some interdomal suctions and transdomal suctions. That's all. But nothing else. Yes. So this is obtaining the, the concave graph and also obtaining septal graph in, 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 in primary anoblasty again. So that, of course, if you work on the, in the right plane, you can obtain the central graft in, in, in a few, in a few, in, 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 in actually in, in one minute or, 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 or two minutes. Now, columnar struts. In my opinion, actually, I mean, the columnar strut is one of the most important key maneuver in my opinion. See, in my opinion, we are respected opinion of every, everyone. Everyone has got his opinion, his own school, his own way of thinking. In my opinion, concave graph, columnar uh, start is one of the most important key maneuvers in hemoglobin because it will uh, obtain more projection, it will correct short columnar, it will correct the hanging columnar, to correct the retracted columnar, to correct the bifid columnar, and also the bifid tip. So it's, it's one of the most really key maneuvers in hemoglobin, which you can use either in, in open approach or in, in, in uh, uh, in doing the close, close approach. Again, the use of, uh, is again, the columnar strap, as I said, open approach or close approach, delivery approach or oblique non division approach. Uh, table graph also, very important uh, maneuver to use, especially in this part of the world. We have patients with sicker skin, patients with soft like arteries, you to obtain multiple projection and multiple definition and multiple refinement. Again, you can use table graph. In, the same technique, the same way, open approach or in, 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 in close approach, as, as you see. Although I use a long, a long table graph, I could also like to augment the nasal area angle. Augmentation of the nasal area angle will help in, in multiple projection and more tip rotation. So instead of using additional graph there, we could call it a plumbing or plumbing, I don't know they call it a graph, it's a very funny name. But I use straight away a very nice long, long graph, as you see, to augment the nasal area angle and also Suppose the columnar and give me more tip, more tip projection. That's a nice columnar start again in, 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 in oblique domination. Now, extended columnar, what people call it, some people call it septal, extended septal graft. I call it extended columnar start. I've been using this since 2015, and my video will certify, and, and that's, I, this graft is on my video running on my operative video on operative since 2015. This is a graph I, I really consider one of the most, again, important and key maneuvers in rhinoplasty because this graph will really achieve constant and stable tip projection and elevation and reduce significantly the number of patients who will return back to you and tell you my tip has dropped down after surgery. What this graph will do, it works as a columnar start plus as a good septal extension graph. It will do two jobs. Because uh, the uh, uh, caudal part of the graph will be sutured to the medial cura, and the, the kephalic part of the graph will be sutured to the, uh, the caudal septum. And you see now, you see now, this is a nasal septum now, and this is a caudal septum here, it's a caudal septum, and now this is the medial cura there, okay, and the graph is going to bridge, to bridge between the medial cura and the good septum. So there's a graph of region between the middle core and the core. This is the shape of the graph I use. And then the graph will be subject to the middle core uh, and subject to the good septum. 
So this is a building that can like a bridge, very strong a bridge, very strong foundation, which run, which connects the media the core to the core sector, and we significantly reduce the possibility of underprojected debt or the table going down after surgery, as most patients come and complain, because the patient patients in this part of the world they have a strong oral muscle. The strong oral muscle will push the tip down after a surgery. Okay, this is really the, the principle is this is car, she very nice tip projection, nice tip elevation, nice sugar tip break, and nice double break. Time in the roof technique, I can't start the video because I'm not doing it anymore. Actually, time in the roof technique has failed to, to, to maintain adequate tip projection because we're doing, we're doing the time in the roof technique, like the cold septum goes in between the immediate core like this. By time, with the with the uh, retaining power of the of its, the pressure supply muscle and the oral muscle, the the cord system start to pull back and the uh, uh, tip start to drop down again. So, tackling really good technique, in my opinion, in my opinion, I'm saying, respect everybody else. It has failed to maintain long term tip 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 projection. Uh, the Tarkoa overlay technique is a very important technique. I mean, this technique will, I can do it either by, by open approach or by Indonesian approach. It was about the end of the Tarkoa overlay technique. It will shorten the Tarkoa, especially in long Tarkoa. When you have patients with groovy tip, why the patient have a groovy tip? Because the Tarkoa is long and pushing the tip down. Or patients with over projected tip, also you want to shorten the Tarkoa. And also, you want also a patient who is looking to, to retain the retail class. So, the core technique will shorten the retail class and will rotate, will rotate the retail class for you. It's a very important technique. So, you can do it either by open technique or you can do it either by, by, by Indonesian technique. Uh, it has go to the Indonesian, or Indonesian, show how I uh, run the video, please. I do it usually in Indonesian, if I do it, it, as you see now, in the middle of the third class, and then, and then go under, under the cartier or the vestibular skin using very fine scissor, and then over, and stick the skin for about one, one centimeter or less, and then divide the cartilage, and this way the cartilage will overlap each other, and the third class will be shorter. So, and this will reduce the convexity. Of the third class. So, I'm getting the complexity of the third class with the third class technique, especially after you have done your oil tip lastly, and then you find you still have some of the inner fullness. So, this is the way to do it in order to avoid uh, over trimming of the Kifadek lateral class. So, you see, it will use the complexity and the super area, super area fullness. I'm going to bypass the other side. Let our class approximate in such also another key maneuver very important to achieve more tip definition, more tip definement, more tip narrowing, because with this such shell it's going to approximate the total class to the midline, so it will stabilize both the total class to the midline, stabilize both the total class to the cartridge dorsa, it will stretch the alar side more and also it will stabilize the tip in the midline and stretching the alar side more and reduce the alar alar flare. So it's very important such as that are class approximating, such as achieving more tip definition, more tip refinement, more tip narrowing with preservation of the other class, with over excision of the cartridges of the other class. Uh, division of the device of supply muscle, again another video please. Uh, and especially the uh, Tony Ball calls this case, case the tension knows. So again, division of the muscle will, will sorry, division of the muscle will, will reduce the tension of the tail, reduce the tension of, of this muscle. And you see how we do it, we, we divide the muscle and then the sex the muscle of the laser spine is the brusum elevator and, 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 and also the anterior face of the, of the maxilla. And you see all the muscles are dissected away with the brusum elevator, and then we use a suture to keep the muscle to to suture the muscle up to reduce as much as possible the muscle to be back to the to the same place. So you I do this type of suture to it like like a nose lift, the same principle of the cheek lift. It's just to get the the blade of 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 reinsertion of the muscle slightly higher. So when you get the uh, Length of reinsertion is slightly higher, so it will give you more more rotation. 
as you see. So it's very nice, very nice to share after you do the tip, uh, after you divide the vessel, the time muscle, and give you adequate tip, 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 rejection and, and elevation. So this is one of the really most important key maneuvers in dobe tip. So in dobe tip, the vessel, the, the, the I mean, the division of the vessel supply muscle is, is, is very important, and also the core technique is very important. The, long, the use of the long table graph also very important to augment the zero angle and treat the dobe tip. So you always, in every case, you have you have a, uh, you have a set of key maneuver you have to follow in order to achieve your result. Additionally, important key maneuver is the use of steroid injection after surgery. In case of the six, six skin patient, patient with wide six skin, you have to use this. It will give you use of the steroid. Will give you really improve, improve, and promote your 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 uh, results. Especially, I mean, uh, I mean, with such patients, always oh, it takes quite a long time for the wide usually tip to 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 get final up to eighteen months. Also, the use of BRB and the use of hyperbaric oxygen, especially in, in patients who's going for face and neck uh, lifting. Well, this is going to be uh, the afternoon presentation about the additional set of key maneuvers that you see in Shama. QI we take to take you to our website, our over 1,000 operative video channel, plus free access to my textbook, and free access to our webinar and uh, some, some presentation. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Ali Rada, for your uh, time this time, for the time this time, uh, and uh, for your invitation again. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Bash, for this draw, for your very attractive and practical presentation. Is there any comment or question? Okay, very good. So, uh, I want to shoot the yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, what are you talking about? Just want to ask, can I call the healer, uh, spanning sutures? What type of suture do you use? Use a. Uh, for your healer, spanning sutures? You know, the spanning suture? Yeah, yeah what type of thread? Usually, I use really as fine as your usual, most cases, but sometimes. Patient with very wide tip or strong artery, I use I use rolling rolling five zero or six zero. I want to stay longer. Yeah. And for your uh, neural overlay, yes. Do you suture them after you split, or you just like? No, I suture it. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. For locking, locking suction. For locking, locking suction. But if you do the that that's approximating suction, it will do the same job. You don't have to lock it. If you are not doing the data class approximate in suture, so you, you need to suture it alone. But if you are doing the data class approximate in suture, it will do the same job for you. But it may bring it more together and separate. Yeah, but to be kind of just to be fixed in the overlap position. Yeah. If you look at my videos of my channel, so, so many cases. So, uh, and I think the uh, pressure marking is very important, as you mentioned, in all of the cases, uh, the preparation of the The, the defining point marking on both sides, which you have by experience, you should know when you look at the tip. Because even if you're doing the open approach, it's very important that when you mark the tip defining point outside, then you mark it with a cartilage inside, this will be very symmetry. Symmetry not only of the tip, because if you don't get symmetry there, you will never get symmetry of the nostrils. You find one side of nostril doing like this, and the other nostril doing like this. And you say why? Because you left one at the class shorter or one longer than the other. That's the reason. So that's why the market is very important, especially again with inner wedge resection, as we see in the afternoon. Market in your first suture is very important. When you find your first suture, you find I mean, straight away each coming together. Okay, thank you very much.